In this video, we will be starting about the education as an essential element of human resource development. See, your education has become a very important, important source and very important element of, you know, for the human resource development. Now, what education is actually? Education implies the process of teaching training and learning especially in schools or colleges to improve knowledge and develop skills. We all know that uh, what is actually education. Why do you go to school and you study? It's because to improve yourself, to improve your knowledge and to develop up your skill. Now there is difference between the literacy and education. See, literacy means the ability to read and write. Whereas education means your primary education, your secondary education, and your tertiary education, right? So obviously education is more wider term than literacy. Every literate cannot be an educated, but every educated are literate because every educated can read and write. Whereas every literate, those who can read and write are not educated. Every literate person cannot be an engineer. Although he may know how to read and write, but he cannot be an engineer. So this is the difference between your literacy and education. The importance and objectives of education. Why education is important? See, as it produces a responsible individual a responsible citizen of the country it develop science and technology third it facilitates use of it facilitates use of natural and human resources then it expands mental origin of a people If you are educated, which means you are more open-minded, you have your men, uh, expanded your mental origin of your brains. Economic development of the country, it helps in the economic development because people will get the jobs, they will earn the income, income will itself help in the process of growth and development. Promotes cultural standard of the citizen develops human personality develops human personality so these are your importance and objectives of education now the need for government intervention in education and health now see, you need, why do you need government intervention in your education and health? See, 
if you are studying at a private institution right there are more fees right if you are going to the private hospital they charge more fine not in a developing country not everybody can afford the fees of the private institution of the private hospitals right because there are poor people poor section of the society middle section of the society right so in this case the education and your health facility needs to be subsidized by the government so government open their government hospitals and the government colleges or institutions for the education so what government do government give the education at a very subsidized rate so that the health and education facilities available to the all the citizens of the country or all the poor people of the country or the middle people of the country those who cannot afford the high price education as well as health so this was all about education i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us